people arrived today from the besieged residence of San Peluso. A lone special forces pilot has cleared the way for United Nations supply trucks to bring relief supplies to the residents. Who have been living under the oppression rule of the infamous drug lord Carlos Ortega. Yes. Hmm. I hope you got enough rest last night. Here's our situation, cheeky bastard. The drug lord has taken over the city of San Peloso. His warlords are ruling the city and are holding local civilians hostage in a group of missions. Your success has cleared the way for our United Nation vans to bring food and medical supplies to these people. But we need... Uh, I can't read it, it's too fast. The drug lord has counterfeiting operations and drug processing factories in the area as well. And the madman will be transporting nuclear detonators out of the city in armed cars. We have spotted these cars in the... My god, that goes quick. Hey guys, and welcome back to Jungle Strike. Um, this mission... This mission's a bit of a mixed bag. Um, you can see there are two fuel drums and three ammo crates on the map uh, and one armor repair. Um, you could call that savage. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna really do is start opening up some buildings. And there's our LZ. Let's go pull our LZ out of the fire, shall we? Now, there's nothing in here that I know of. So, let's start opening up these houses. Now, these houses look derelict and abandoned, which is cool because uh, there is no repercussions for blowing all these open, which is curious, <laughs> to say the least. Um, fuel is going to be a big worry here. There's some ammo. Nice. There's actually plenty of supplies on this mission. There's more than you'll ever need. Um, it's just they're all you know, hidden, which is problematic, really, um, really, really problematic, but that's okay, we have large quantities of firepower, uh, these are the missions, which are housing our civilian friendarinos, so let's go to work on clearing these out, yeah, this mission actually uh, is quite easy, uh, we don't spend the whole thing in the helicopter either, and um, in here should be Yes, the quick winch. Excellent. Come on. There we go. Lovely. Quick winch is... Eh, well, I mean, it's always good to have, I suppose. It's, I wouldn't ever call it essential, but it's useful. Anyway, let's uh, continue our swath of destruction through this place. Because, as I said, before we do anything, we need supplies. We need lots of supplies. And luckily, the game has us covered. Covered in a big way. There's even some armor repair here. There's some fairly brutal uh, areas in this mission as well. There's two that I can think of that are a little on the savage side. This guy has some fuel in him for us. Thank you. Nice that we can destroy that um, <laughs> that uh, truck there, and he will just like spawn fuel for us. He's pretty cool like that, you know. He's a good. He's one of the good ones. Okay, let's keep opening up these buildings. Because, hey, that's what we do. We are literally raising this city, or this town, to the ground. I'm assuming that uh, no one's living in these buildings anymore. Otherwise, that would be a little bit awkward, I'm sure. Uh, there's nothing in there. Ah, more buildings. Lovely. Just what we wanted. Armor's not much of an issue either. There is plenty of it. And I think maybe in this one? No, not in this one. In one of these, there's actually an extra life, which is rather nice. Is it this one? Yes, there we go. Um, might actually need that here, because, as I said, there's some sneaky little bastard bits. Uh, one or two. Oh, God. One or two, anyway. Yeah, we really do tear through. Chain gun ammo. Uh, now Roz is at the helm. Which is, you know, fine. There's no point it uh, going down in flames with us, is there? Might as well get as much of it out onto the battlefield as possible. There we go. As you can see, we are actually finding more than enough gear. Not tons, but enough. Um, we will get even more later. Right, let's go scoop this fuel up. Look, we, we haven't even touched our hellfires. That's bad. 
Well, it's not exactly bad, but uh, we've got 10 fuel left. We've got plenty. Let's scoop these up. Sure. Right, that will do for now. We've got enough supplies ooh, to get us rolling. But I cannot pass up the opportunity to open up some more buildings. And that one's got fuel in it as well, so hey, I guess that worked out. Right, let's go pull these uh, civilians out of the fire, shall we? Yeah, we got plenty of fuel to keep us going. Right, let's go pave the way. You're done, son. Get the fuck out of here. I do like these little guard houses. I don't know why these missions have uh, guard houses, to be honest. Uh, seems a little bit strange. But, you know, I didn't design this place. Designing this place was not, you know, my doing. I just uh, unmake it. Uh, dude, also, picking up civilians here is a real nightmare. This is really bad game design. Oh, God. Bit itchy on the old trigger finger there. Yeah, because that constantly happens. You constantly get knocked around. God damn it. Luckily, oh, no more room. No room at the inn. Luckily, uh, we don't have to worry too much about it because... Uh, all these little chunks of armor that we're knocking off, we can get patched up. Um, right. You can see just how quickly we're blazing through the fuel. Now, MLRSs are the new enemy here. Multi-launch rocket systems. Uh, I don't know why they have 23mm cannons. They actually fire very large, nasty missiles in real life. Um, MLRSs are very quick, even with their thick armor, and their rocket launchers fire with intimidating speed and accuracy. Yes, uh, quite frankly, they suck. And so does this landing zone. Because even though we've cleared the landing zone out, we've killed everybody. Um, <laughs> God love the UN, they just like wasting ammo. So, yeah, it's very loud around here. I do feel sorry for these civilians that we're dropping off. Right, smoey later. Also, those uh, crates that are there... You can destroy them, but you get in trouble. Oh, hello. Didn't even see you there, buddy. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, now we're patched up. Let's go and have a look. Right, come here. Oh, are you the last one? Seriously? You couldn't have just, like, held on somehow? Uh, I suppose not. There we go. All right. Come on, guys. If you could... Step clear of the building, you would actually help me out quite a bit here. You really would. Sorry, no more room. Ooh, that was a brutal double tap there. I suppose, really, we should read what our first mission entails. Rescue civilian hostages and bring them to the UN transports. Innocent civilians are being held prisoner in three missions. Blast them free and airlift them to the safety of the UN supply trucks. Yeah, well, no one's getting through uh, knuckles and low blow over here. Got like fucking Schwarzenegger and uh, Terminator lighting the place up. Schwarzenegger and Terminator, I mean, technically that's the same guy. Or like fucking Robocop. Look at that guy. Putting out so much lead. Uh, I think they're just doing it on purpose to piss me off. I think when I was younger, uh, I used to blow these guys up just because they irritated the hell out of me. I was tempted to try that here, but. I fear <laughs> getting sent back, uh, return to the old return to uh, base because you fucked everything up. Which we haven't had so far, but you know, it's early yet. This is only mission five of eight. Which actually, I suppose it's not too bad. Oh, we got the snow fortress next. Oh, God. The snow fortress. Crystal, why do you do this to me, buddy? why the snow fortress is really freaking hard from what I can remember having said that um, this game oh god mission one complete there we go this game hasn't actually been very challenging so far we actually do need to drop these guys off um, because there are guys to pick up over here but I think we'll pave the way first right so drug plant drug processing plant seek and destroy the drug lords processing plants blast the drug processing equipment but rescue any friendly scientists uh, you find working inside aye aye chief that we can do really 
I like that. We just literally noped him out of existence. Ooh. Hello. You're gone. Now, we can pick these up, but I don't know why you'd want to. You might as well just blast them, to be honest. And we're low on fuel, because of course we are. But that's okay. We've got to head back to base anyway, so we will go past some fuel on the way. Which, uh, yes, we can scoop this fuel up here. That's cool. Yum, 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 yum. Get in my belly. Excellent. Now, let's go drop these dudes off. Kind of wanted to finish peeling open um, those factories, but hey, the Comanche, she thirsts. All right, let's drop these idiots off. Um, well, I shouldn't really call the civilians idiots. You know, they're just in the wrong place at the wrong time. It's these bloody UN jarheads that uh, piss me off. I mean, is there any need for that? Is there any need for that, dude? Any need at all. There's nothing actually in that little marketplace there. We can blow it up, obviously, because of course we can. It's freaking jungle strike, yo. But there's nothing there, so we might as well just save our uh, equipment for now. Um, righty tighty. Hey, friend. Oh, noped him out of existence as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Much better. Oh, hello. I would say we've got a little bit of a threat there, but I mean, they're not really that much of a threat. They only do like 10 damage per shot. Not really worth worrying about. It's these bloody um, NIFs or whatever they're called. They suck. All right, let's continue opening this place up. And that guy had some ammo for us. Well, that's jolly decent of the chap, that's for sure. All right, get in. And you. Ooh, you little bastards. Come on, Rods, light them up. There we go. Beautiful. Oof, you're gone. Wasted his ass. Alright, Roz is a pretty freaking awesome addition to our team, I think it's fair to say. Right, let's grab some ammo. Now, what's next on the agenda? Counterfeiting. But wait, there's more. This place isn't... Oh, hello. You sod. Get the fuck out of here with your little uh, truck. Honestly. You think you are. Come on, dude. There we go. So, counterfeiting, you say. Counterfeiting operations. The drug lord is running an international counterfeiting operation in his new downtown building. Stop the press permanently. Yes. This mission is a little bit of a dick. Um, because right in the middle of that area there, right in the middle of those three flashing buildings, there is a alert zone. Yes, this alert zone will ruin your day. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, luckily. Oh, these buildings we need to open up because these have lots of goodies in. Look at that, two armor repair kits. Two, count them, one, two. Is that enough? Probably not, but you know, it's a start. These generally have supplies in them as well. I think there's another one of those long building. Yeah, there it is. I think this one's got ammo in it or something. Yep, ammo. Cool. We can always use some more ammo. Right, let's go to town on these. You know, we might as well just start using some hydras because why not? There are MLRSs in the middle of this and would you Adam and, believe, Adam and Eve that it's actually an alert zone to go in there because the next mission, oh god, the next mission actually involves these guys in the middle. So we, oh Jesus Christ, he almost had his way with us, almost, almost. But this Comanche, she's got the moves. Oh hello, three hundred points of armor. That's th oh Christ on a motorbike. That's 300, uh, uh, 300, <laughs> that's three, um, hellfires to you and me in layman's terms. And one second, my phone's beeping, that's fine. Uh, it is Twitter, I don't really use Twitter. Okay, what else we got? Uh, armor. Do we have any fuel nearby? We do, alright. Let's go scoop this shit up. Where? Good in my belly. 
Yoink. Good, good stuff. Oh god. That dude is savage, man. Oh, you don't want to get in the way of him. Oh, danger zone. Whoa, we're just letting the sparks fly here. Lighten up like the 4th of July. Oh, okay, armor. Might as well scoop it up. Nom, 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 nom. Um, fuel. We don't need fuel. Alright, let's light these half constructed buildings up. Set this place back a few. <laughs> a few years, should we say? I mean, construction is expensive. Unless you go to Fat Tony. I'm assuming these aren't Fat Tony specials. But they are full of supplies. So, there's that. We like the buildings that are full of supplies. Um, okay, not bad. Ooh, who's shooting me? You, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Almost had me. Bent me over a barrel. Right. And we're bingo weapons again. Jesus. Right, so, next mission. Power grid. Power grid towers. Short out the power grid. Destroy the transformer towers. This will take down the power to the labs. Excellent. Let's go, daddy -o. Let's go load up some weapons on the way as well. Just because. Oh, hello. I'm there already. Now, not sure why we have to take out, like, loads of these. You would have thought wasting one would be enough, but I guess we're here to do a job. We might as well be thorough. Hellfires to the rescue. Why that is a danger zone? I have no idea. Um... I have absolutely no idea why that's a danger zone. Now, armoured cars. Remember when I said there was an alert zone in the middle? That's now disabled that. So, we can come in here uh, and basically throw our bollocks around. Safe in the knowledge that we're the biggest dick. Going. Right, that's not what we wanted. Who's in here? No. Ooh. Okay, I guess we have flushed the armoured cars out. Now, this is where things get a little bit uh, interesting, to say the least. Uh, one second, guys. My phone is going up like the 4th of July. Okay. Um, right, so. Interesting mission, this. Armoured cars. Armoured cars hiding in the two computer labs. Blast open the two tall labs in the centre of the downtown area to flush out five armoured cars. These cars have special armour for invincibility against air attacks. Bullshit armour, in other words. Now, the game doesn't tell you. And one second. No idea what that was about. Okay. So, yeah, what the game doesn't tell you here, which is really bloody naughty of it, is stolen nuclear detonators take command of the attack motorcycle at the police station north of your LZ use the cycle to stop at least four armored cars then pick up the nuke yeah so why it didn't actually tell us to transfer over now is beyond me kind of would have saved a bit of time but hey we're not exactly on the clock are we and due to my stupid error I've now cut this video into two parts god damn it that's fine. What's the worst that can happen, right? Oh, hey friend. Now also, check out that armoured car that we're about to take over. The armoured car is basically um, the hovercraft. But check out the armoured car, or the uh, motorbike, I should say. It's actually got someone on it already. <laughs> that kind of always used to make me laugh. Um, this thing's actually quite a lot of fun. Uh, it's controls totally different as you'd imagine it's janky as all hell it lays mines like that and it sounds like it's uh, the driver's got gas um, it's like I said it's basically the hovercraft but uh, something about this is more fun look how much better the machine gun is the hovercraft's machine gun had a range of about two inches this thing can actually you know reach out and touch the enemies uh, the mines are fantastic. Boom. 
same dealio at picking up the nuclear detonators. Uh, I'm not sure where they're putting them in this thing, but hey, I'm not here to ask questions. I'm just here to get results. Ooh, hello. Also. Ooh, nice. Uh, a bit of variety in that one. There we go. Yes. Also, not sure... W look, that's as quickly as we can go backwards. Uh, not sure what these guys are actually fighting to warrant such uh, ridiculous police firepower. But, um, hey, I mean, they couldn't keep this uh, drug lord dude under control, could they? Right, mission 6 and mission 5 complete. It's basically the same mission. Um, there we go. Boom! But we're not going to do half a job, because that's what losers do. Alright, now, uh, one thing to also mention with this thing is it doesn't have a lot of uh, armor. It only has like 500 points of armor, I think, which ain't great. Now, C4 explosives. C4 plastic explosives located at the armory alerted by police radar yeah you'll need plastic explosives to destroy the drug lord's war room please open the armory uh, oh pe please peel open the armory and take what you need aye that we shall do um may lose a life here because this place is guarded by mlrs systems and they're also an alert zone. So, needless to say, it could be brown trouser time here. But, oh, oh, oh god, that was a triple baby. Baby likes triple. Uh, oh, we're bingo fuel. Look how much fuel and stuff there is now. Oh, look, there's a little tactical over here. Let's go warm him up. Um, right, let's go get some ammo. Now we're good for ammo. Armor we're also... We're not like great for armor, but, you know, we can go drop these dudes off. Uh, might as well get a free armor repair, I suppose. Make these civilians work for us for once, you know what I'm saying? Now, if I was an LZ, I think I'd be up here. No, would I? No, it would be further down, of course. Titan, you fool! You should know where you're going by now. You've only been playing this game for, I don't know, 20 years. Right, let's go patch up our armor. Whilst the two mad idiots light up the fucking road. That's where your tax money's going, guys. Are you honestly quite done? I reckon those big containers are just full of bullets. Uh, and fuel is becoming a priority. Let's go grab some. Let's go grab some goo juice. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Yum. Okay, cool. Right, now I think the best plan of attack for this is to come in from the top. Um, there is actually a radar on top of this thing. And as soon as we pop the radar, the alert zone goes down. Ooh, no, I don't think it does. Ooh. Yeah, the alert zone here sucks sucks large floppy penises um hmm okay well there's sweet fa we can do about it we're just gonna have to be delicate delicate the only way strike force knows how to be yep that's by using large amounts of firepower oh god damn Right, do you think that guy took enough firepower to take down? He basically took everything we had. And then asked for seconds. Right, let's go rearm. And do we have any armor? We actually have lots of armor here. Nice. Uh, I didn't really want that, but I guess it doesn't really matter because we have so much. <laughs> cool. Right, let's go take out the other MLRS, which should be on the other side. You can see how far those the range is on those things as well. It's absolute... Oh, God. Oof. Nope to out of existence. Now. Oh, hello. Didn't know that was there. Huh. Nice. Right, now we've got this... Oh, it's just a tactical. 
Let's tactically remove this thing from existence. Ooh! <laughs> what? Oh, my dudes. We actually got sent down in flames to a tactical. That's embarrassing. Okay, well. Hey, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Right, there we go. Uh, let's go get some ammo. Actually, there's some ammo up here, I believe. Right, so we're on the final mission now. Uh, that is not our final mission. The Drug Lord's War Room. Invincible to your command to choose weapons. Uh, drop off your co-pilot to set the plastic explosive charges at the Drug Lord's War Room. Keep the area clear of enemy weapons to assure his safe escape. Yeah, we shall do that. And it's not a he, it's Roz. It's, she's female. Well, who knows? You know, we live in very progressive times. So... I don't want to open that can of worms saying who's male and who's female you know it's let people be who they want to be I guess right there we go but I suppose you're damned if you do you're damned if you don't can't please anybody these days right uh, let's go get some ammo actually yep ammo is just up here ah I knew one of these fuckers had ammo give me Right, let's go drop our co-person off. In they go. Right, let's take these guys out. Again, soldiers that are on the roof are very difficult to hit. Because the game's targeting just doesn't really work that well. Anyway, I felt that. I mean, it works. It, it does the job. It's just could have been better. There we go. There's the war room completely destroyed, and we can't actually destroy the flag, sadly. Uh, hmm. So we've got one MLRS up here. Who's left? Who is not deceased? I don't know. Okay, not sure why that's still flashing on the map there, but hey. We don't make the rules, we just break them. Now, where is... There's the MLRS. Let's go waste it. Ooh. Coming in hot. There we go. He's gone. He's gone. And tactical. There's two tacticals left as well. Let's go scrap these. Because we can, you know, exercise our power. Peace through superior firepower and all that. One left down here. Ah, oh, I'm really annoyed that I lost that life. God damn it. Now, the next mission... <laughs> oh, Crystal. Curse you, Crystal. I'm only playing. But the, the next mission, yeah. Uh, mm. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it. Because it's hard. And like the other diff well, <laughs> the majority of the difficulty in this game, the difficulty comes from the fact that it's just unfair. Uh, everything's stacked against you. And I'm not talking about I'm sitting here sucking my thumb and my dummy, um, crying about it being unfair. I mean, it's just bullshitty. But hey, pretty sure we're going to get through there, through it somehow, together. And afterwards, we can collapse in our safe space, sucking our thumb. Right, let's put her down. Oh, God. We're go yeah. Let's go drop these civvies off. Because we're here. Because we can. There we go. I was getting through this game at a pretty good pace. Um, completed it most now in uh, two sittings. Right, so let's go for this and let's give it a save. A years. So, that mission was much, much easier than I remember. I really was expecting to get some flack from that. Um, I was a little bit nervous. I was. Um, but I think we... Uh, 
I think we did that fairly smoothly. Very salty about getting taken out by a tactical. Oh, I expected it. I expected to lose a life to a um, uh, MLRS, but a tactical? Come on, man. Bullshit. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. As always, till next time.